I want to be very pragmatic and concrete uh, because um, I've been waiting for this event for long. I have some ideas what you as a mayors and representatives of regions and cities can can do. I, I think we have some elements which could be very helpful for your for your everyday work. Um, I, I used to be a member of town council for 12 years and I have decided to take uh, a position that if I was a mayor, so I, I will tell what I would do if I was a mayor. You can also think if I was a regional uh, leader. So one part of the investment plan for Europe is to create European Investment Advisory Hub. It collects together the expertise from the European Investment Bank and from the Commission, and it's an uh, advisory service for uh, private and public project promoters who want to get advices how to improve the quality of investment projects, for instance, or who want to get uh, further information how to use um, different financial instruments and facilities what EU has uh, for particular projects. So if I was a mayor and when my city is planning to invest in something, I would contact the European Investment Advisory Hub and get free of charge consultation how to improve the quality of the project. Second, if I was a mayor planning to invest in something, I would send the project to the European Investment Project Portal, EIPP, European Investment Project Portal. It's a globally open website to which public and private project promoters can send their projects, and by doing so, the projects can get better visibility and can possibly attract investors or financiers which otherwise wouldn't know anything about your, your project. The idea came from London, where I visited one and a half year ago. There, the investment bankers said that they are willing and capable to invest in European infrastructure, but it's very difficult to find good projects because they don't have local branches in every single town. And they said that it would be extremely useful if the Commission would create investment project portal, which is full of good projects, and. And, and when the investment bankers are coming to the work, having a cup of coffee, and the first thing they do, they, they open their laptop and look at the European Investment Project Portal, whether there are any new attractive projects to, to which they want to invest in. So I would send my projects to the portal. Third, I would uh, contact EIB, European Investment Bank, and discuss with them whether there is financing opportunities which market cannot offer to, to our projects. One of the new instruments which we have created is EFSI, European Fund for Strategic Investment. The managing director of the fund is sitting here and he will tell more about the fund. FC is part of European Investment Bank and it's providing risk financing mostly to private investments, but also public pri to public-private partnership projects. It provides loans, guarantees to loans, and it also does equity investment. So it's addressing the market failure. It's not competing with private money because uh, it's supposed to be uh, an instrument which is crowding in private money. FC has been in power for one year now. There are 78 projects in different European countries which have got FC financing, plus 188 agreements between uh, the fund and uh, intermediary banks, meaning normal local commercial banks or national promotional banks, on small and medium-sized enterprise financing. We are expecting these 188 agreements already to provide financing to 140,000 European SMEs. And this is just a result of the first year. In Italy, there are 28 banks which have made an agreement with, uh, with uh, the fund. In Bulgaria, there are three. 
in Slovakia, uh, one for sure and pro probably another one coming, etc. So I would contact EIP and discuss about the opportunity to finance the projects. I also would like to organize an event for private sector people in my city where I would invite people from EIP's local branch and from the European Commission representation and they would explain to private sector what kind of opportunities there are coming from EFSI and EIB. Finally, I will tell you one fascinating example how one region is using FC. Ile de France, which is the region around Paris, they are establishing a special investment platform for energy efficiency projects. The platform is public-private company. There are a few people working in this company. It has got capital from the region, region budget, also from private bank and from national promotional bank. Those three uh, bodies provided capital. The platform is collecting together 40,000 homes or houses for energy efficiency renovations. So the platform is providing technical assistance to house owners how to retrofit the house in order to reduce the energy consumption by 75%. And EFSI came to the picture by providing long-term, relatively cheap loans for house owners. So the house owners will pay the loan back over time at the same time when the energy costs are considerably lower than, than they are today. So this platform thinking is something which cities and regions could use for energy efficiency, but also to the other uh, opportunities. I would like to see such a platform, for instance, increase in tourism sector. Everybody understand that for Greek uh, SMEs, it's quite difficult to get financing from the banks at the moment. But the platform, which could be capital, uh, capitalized by structural funds, uh, private companies, and public sector, could apply resources from EFSI, which companies cannot get from otherwise from, from the banks. And the platform could collect together thousands of Greek SMEs in tourism sector and provide them um, uh, financing for their investments. So this is a good example of uh, opportunities how FC can function even with relatively small size investments. Final word, I already mentioned that, that structural funds can, can be used as a co-financing element in FC projects. It's many cases very efficient way to use structural funds. You can use structural funds as a, uh, as a capital to capitalizing investment platforms or you can use it as a co-financing element in infrastructure projects uh, where FC is providing part of the part of the financing. So I will stop here just concluding uh, that be active Look what the others have already done. You can find all the projects which have already signed by FC from the website. It opens your eyes. Uh, there are very fascinating opportunities and examples what the other countries and regions and, and cities have already done and, and use the opportunities what we have to offer to you. Advisory services, investment project portal, and EFSI, they are the newest creator what the Commission has done, and it's, they all are in your disposal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vice President. Um, I don't know if uh, you, you want to return to your seat, and we're going to let, uh, as you indicated, Willem Molterer, who is former Vice President of the EIB and also Managing Director of the European uh, Fund for Strategic Investments. Can I ask you before you go, as I've got you here, um, and uh, I know people would want to ask, you know, do you, you, you've talked about the, the three very practical ways in which regions and cities 
uh, can actually go out there and make things work for them. Uh, would you accept that there maybe needs to be more work done? Uh, this is something that Iskra might uh, talk about a little bit more. In terms of making it easier to actually combine the different kinds of funds and the financial instruments uh, that there are, and that at the moment there's, there's, there's too many obstacles. I mean, is that a fair analysis, do you think? I think it's fair analysis. If you combine structural funds with uh, with any other uh, uh, financial instruments, it's, it doesn't go as easily as uh, if you march directly to EIB and make a deal. But uh, it's also possible. And there again, I would underline the, the opportunity to use European Investment Advisory Hub. If there's any mayor, any regional leader who is planning to use part of your structural funds for, together with, for instance, EFC, uh, the advisory services uh, can help you to, to build a project. There's already one good example in north, northern France where the region is using structural funds in the platform together with private banks, together with their own uh, regional budget money, and together with FC Capital. They have capitalized a platform which is providing financing to innovative small startups which are active in in digital uh, business so structural funds can use can be smartly used together with fc on sme financing too thank you very much vice thank president you. that's you. great